So I made a few drafts before and I tried to get it published, but the quality of it wasn't that great. Just hadn't evolved like they are now. Mm-hmm. So when I finally made my final draft, I uh, who wrote a book. Uh, she wrote a, a memoir cookbook. Okay. I tried to get it published then, and, and no one would debate. And it wasn't that um, – it was good, but it wasn't where it should be. So I went back, did some more soul searching. I was like, you know what? I need to add a personal touch to each one of these characters. And not just because of uh, – there are little pieces of each character that are me, but I needed to – make them realistic because having them on paper does not mean that they've lived life and have evolved like I have in the real world. So mm-hmm. I had to put pieces of myself in those characters and make those characters real and real life to today's situation. Um, Stockholm syndrome with the, uh, with my werewolf, you know, he had, he had an estranged father. My father and I, um, we became friends later on in life, but, there was always some missing piece out of our life, you know. So I put that in there and find out and to try to find out what's going on with that. He has a mysterious past, um, and his father has a mysterious past. And he gets to, as he grew up, he got to see bits and pieces of his past, so like I did. Mm-hmm. So I put myself into that character like that. Um, I had a friend of mine who was uh, physically abused by his father, and all he did all of his life was try to get his father to love him and to accept him the way he is. And his father never did. He never knew why. And it, and in the story, there's an alternative, ulterior motive to that. And in real life, the guy never really thought that that was his son, so he treated them differently. Hmm. So I meshed those characters together. And then when I got my final product, it took about another... Um, actually... I did uh, finish it in 2018, around February 2018. I was like, okay, I'm finished this. I want to get it published. I try to put it out to people, and no one was taking the bait, so I decided to self-publish. Okay. And, and that's what I did. And, and so I finally got put together and ready to go. Um, and was out in May, April, August. So it came out in August of 2018, my first copy, and I was like, wow, this is really good. It's kind of what yeah. I wanted, you know, but from the cover and uh, the color on the cover, mm-hmm. it all messed together, and it was almost like fate, the way everything came together, and I'm like, yes, this is what I want, and so I put it out, and uh, I've got some pretty good reviews. I had my, um, my second uh, big, actually, my first biggest book signing, I was in... Um, Fort Leonardwood, Missouri, and I sold out in two days. And oh, wow. uh, I, went back to, I went back to my hotel room, and I, the only book I had left was a display book. And the house cleaner said, hey, I saw your book there. It looked really interesting. I'm into science fiction, and uh, I think I want to buy your book. Can you sign me a copy? I'm like, I don't have any more books left. I mean, if you <laughs> buy one, I could if you buy one from like Amazon, Barnes and Noble, or from uh, from uh, Outskirts, I can I sign it when I come back here in a couple of months. He goes, "Well, you have one there." I'm like, "Yeah, that's a display book. You don't. It's just sitting there. You people are coming through. You don't want that book." He goes, "Yes, I do." <laughs> I'm like, "Okay then." <laughs> there you go. And then I signed it for, it, and it was it was great. I was, I met a great bunch of people in book signings. Yeah, well, that's great. I mean, it it sounds like again, and I I read some of the reviews online. It's Everybody who has read this really relates to the story and 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 loves your writing, uh, so I think that's fantastic. So, what are you working on on now? Are you is this going to be something where you're writing, let's say, like a trilogy or a a, uh, a longer version of of the characters, or have you moved on to something else? Uh, there is a big cataclysm of events that are coming, um, and I mentioned that in the end of this book. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to introduce new characters because there are more people out there with disabilities and, and so a lot of things that I haven't touched on. Uh, the next book, the character that I'm going to introduce has uh, multiple personalities, but they think that they're schizophrenic. Okay. And But it's not. They're, and they think that it's multiple personalities, they think it's schizophrenic, but in actuality, they're, he's, the person is possessed by demons. 
Interesting. And so that's one of the, and, and that's why a lot of times people have multiple personalities and instead of saying, hey, yeah, this person has different personalities and stuff like that, you're going to talk to this person and you're going to think they're fine. You're going to think they're normal. The doctors think that this person is, is uh, crazy, mm -hmm. but in actuality, they have uh, memory lapses, time lapses, and stuff like that, that are part of the schizophrenia, um, some, of the, um, some of the symptoms. And it turns out that's just when the demon has possessed them and take, completely taken over, and that person doesn't remember what's going on. Very interesting. So, so to, sorry, go ahead. So I'm trying to put a lot of uh, scientific facts into the disability so people on the outside can see the signs of certain things like my person with PTSD. Mm -hmm. You can look at this person and see signs. A person who was abused, you can see the signs because you've read the book and you go, hey, this person acting just like this guy in the character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they're showing signs of this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a person who actually is going to commit suicide, but until they get to that point, there are going to be little signs that this, this person has that we think, okay, well, he's just having a bad day, or that person just having a bad day. But in actual, actuality, they're asking for help, and we don't see that. Right. So these books, they're going to have uh, a lot of uh, problems. These supernatural, supernatural characters are going to have a lot of the, uh, the character um, characteristics that normal humans have with issues, flaws. And if we read these books, we learn about these flaws and learn about these characters. You know, get a little bit of it also. Okay. Okay, excellent. So I, I like the, the educational part of that too, of like if you notice some of these these flaws or you know, these personality traits coming out in people around you, that's it's definitely something to be to look out for, which I think is great. So with with what you've worked on so far, um, you know, a lot of writing a book and going through the process that you have, also through your journey, there's a lot of putting yourself out there, which oftentimes can be fearful. You know, a lot of people like writing, but are afraid to actually put their work out there. How do you approach fear and how do you overcome it? Uh, it just so happens that, uh, I do actually my actual job is I am in I work for the uh, Marine, U.S. Marine Corps as an instructional um, teacher mm -hmm. instruction to the Marine Corps. So I teach them how to get up in front of people, and that's kind of what I do. Okay. So the process of that mainly making sure that you are prepared for your lesson because when you're prepared your outlook and the way you perform is way better than trying to pull from the hip. So get your storyline together, get what you're going to talk about, what you're going to teach, get that all set up, get that in line together. And then once that's done and you can go out and start performing, your natural personality is going to come through. Sure. Excellent. Excellent. I like that. Be prepared. That always, That's always a good, good model on that one. The, um, so my last question is, with everything you've done and experienced so far, what would you say has been the best advice that you have ever received? The best advice is um, my, my God brother asked me the other day, so what is your motivation? And I had no clue of how to answer that question because there are just so many things in life that set me on this path. That there's not just like one little thing. It's a group of things. It's the people who go, hey, you know what? I read your book, man, and I was inspired. Or I saw what you did. I saw your teaching, and I was inspired. Mm -hmm. So those people who are behind me, who motivated me to go forward, you know, you got to have a good team. And I'm not talking about a team of yes men. Like, yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's great. Or that other guy who was like, you know what? Everything you said, no, nope, that's not going to work. You're going to fail. But a balance between those, yeah, that's good. But that's not. You need to change this. I'm not trying to tell you this to be mean, but you know this is not going to work. And then filter that out and go. You know what? You may not think it's going to work, but I think it will. And if it does, great. If it doesn't, you know you have a group of people behind you who are there to say, "Okay, you fell down, dust yourself off, get back up, and go at it again." And so that's been my motivation. Uh, 
haters. A lot of people who look at my look at my personality, they talk to me and they go, "This guy wrote a book." Yeah, I'm not gonna buy this guy's book. And it's like, why not? Because I know how this guy is. He's a jerk, um, and sometimes he life and so i don't think i want to read anything as fine Mm -hmm. there are people who like that but if you take the book itself look at it read through it once you get through that book i've had a lot of people go you know what i saw your book i read it and i did not know that you had this type of talent i did not Mm -hmm. know it was you and I also get a lot of people who look at the, who go, oh, you wrote a book? Yeah. No, really, you wrote that book. I, I did. <laughs> <laughs> See the back there? That, yeah. that, that picture in the back, that's not one of the monsters in the book. That's actually my picture. That's, that's me. Yeah, I, I did that. And then it's just like uh, looking at me, and I guess I don't seem like the, uh, maybe I should take a picture with a, a monocle and a, one of the big Sherlock Holmes tanks or something like that, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, I put that on a picture. Like, yeah, see, now do I look more like an Arthur now? You know, such thing. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's, well, that's, that's kind of what's great about writing everything else is, is you know, it's, you don't have to fit into the mold of what people think a writer should look like. You could just write and let your talent stand for itself, which it looks like you definitely have. And that's fantastic. So, Rob, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me. I really appreciate it. If the listeners would like to buy your book, see more about your writing, um, or learn more about you, where can they go to do that? So if you want to buy my book, uh, right now it's on Outskirts Press, uh, Barnes & Noble, and on Amazon. And it's on. And you can buy it in Kindle and eBooks also. Okay. And I also have a webpage, nightstories.com. That's N-Y-H-T-E-S-T-O-R-I-E-S.com. And I'll have, uh, and on that webpage there, I have where my next book's going to be coming out, when it's ready. Um, I have where my book signings are going to be, um, appearances and stuff like that. So it's really cool. Okay, wonderful. And I will make sure that I put links in the show notes so that people can click right through. Awesome. Again, awesome. Thank, thank you so much, Rob. This was an absolute pleasure to chat with you about your book. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. No, thank you. Thank you for listening to another episode of the Advance Your Art Podcast. If you like this episode, please go into iTunes and give us a five-star rating. And while you're there, hit the subscribe button so that every single time I release a new episode, it will go directly to you without even thinking about it. If you're interested in hearing older episodes, please go to advanceyourart.com where you can find the catalog of everything I've done so far, as well as contact information and projects I'm working on. Thank you again, and have a great day.